Welcome to Smartest! Welcome to show! Today we're at the Fresno Chaffee Zoo with Nana and our cousin Ethan. We're going to check out all the fun animals and maybe even get to feed a giraffe if they're hungry. Ow. How do they sound? Ow, ow, ow. What kind of dogs are those? Wolves. Wolves. What kind of wolf? Do you know? Red wolf. Red wolf. That's right. Red wolf's from Mexico, huh? Look, look. one of the wolf's ears is down. Guys, even now I have a cracker on and still freezing cold. Are you? I'm so sorry, much. love. You're freezing cold too? Red wolves are the first stop on our tour through the zoo every time we come. It's, uh, well, actually because it's right by the front gate, <laughs> but they're also a fun animal, huh? Hey, you got blue in your hair. Yeah, that's my hair crack. Maddie actually put white. Oh, your hair chalk? Yeah, Maddie put white on the crack of my hair. Oh, yeah, sure did. Next stop, the reptile house. What is that? A legless lizard. And a, a legless tortoise. lizard? Yeah, and a tortoise. And a tortoise. I see the tortoise. Look at that legless I lizard. Hope the Get yeah, no kidding. It's not their friend. They are friends, I can tell that. They are friends. That's like this right there. We were walking by and we couldn't even see it. Yeah. That snake is poisonous. Yes, he is. Look at that. That's a gaboon viper. They probably are napping, huh? Did it get you? Oh, there he is right there. Right there. You see him? Turtle? Oh wow. Well that's a boa constrictor, huh? Yeah, and there's What's that one up there? What's this one up here? Where right there? See that green one? Yeah. You know what kind that is? Yeah, no. Yeah, no? Look, it's moving, Daddy. Oh yes, look at that. It has a long tail. Here I go again, I'm my own. Wow, that's a Komodo dragon, Oh my gosh, is that an Easter Island? Yeah, is this an Easter it is. Island? Hey, that's a dragon. No, it's a big for me, guys. Big, big lizard, huh? Oh, Tell me all about him. I don't know what color is he. Black, blue, and yellow. Black and blue and yellow. Why are the black? Yeah. Dad, there's six of these. Six of what? There's six of these. There's one right there, and then there's one right there. Oh, are they dangerous lizards? Are you dangerous? You look like you're fat. What's your favorite part of the reptile house? The big lizard thingies. Dilly, what was your favorite part of the reptile house? Um, seeing snakes because one time I saw a garden and snake and that was the only time I saw a snake. Oh. 
In some of these videos, you might notice some of the lights that are hanging around. They actually do a, a Christmas lights at the zoo, which is really cool. They have a special night where they decorate with all the all the different Christmas lights, and then you get to come through at nighttime and uh, see the animals with all the Christmas lights around. It's really awesome. So this enclosure here used to be the elephant enclosure, and they had a very famous elephant named Nosy, and she eventually died, and they got a couple more elephants, but they've expanded the zoo and uh, moved them out to this little African savanna that they made. And here they've got some rescue rhinos. What do you see? That one. <laughs> that one? That is actually the small one. The big one is not out today. What do you call those things? Orangutan. A what? Orangutan. What? Orangutan. Orangutan. The monkey looks like he's eating something. And there's, these are chimps, right? I think so, I don't know what they are. What do you think? Where are you? Look, they even got a Christmas tree. <laughs> Goofy girl. So here's a better shot of this little girl. She's tiny compared to the other boy that's in here. He's probably five times her size. And then I wasn't sure about these guys. I thought at first that they were chimps, but they're not. I just don't know what kind they are. They have very, very long fingers. Oh, yeah, yeah. Where is he? Oh, he's way back. He was just walking around a second ago. <laughs> oh, I'm, done, I'm tired now. Done with this? <laughs> do you guys want to do the petting zoo? Yeah. Yes! Yeah. That way. Alright, to the petting zoo. Yeah, petting zoo. Thank you. You did what? I stepped in a turd. Oh, gross. Was it this turd right here? Yes. Ugh. Watch out, Dilly. Okay, <laughs> you got your brush? This one was the only one. Well, one's better than none, huh? Okay, let's see your brushing skills. So, going to the petting zoo is fun, but it's also not very hygienic, so we have to wash our hands when we're done. Ja! So there's this really cool little tree house up here. There's really not a whole lot to see, because the highway's right there. But it's kind of cool to get this vantage point. Okay, here we are at the kangaroo cage. You gonna give your best shot? Jump like a kangaroo. Oh, good hopping. Can you imagine they can jump that That's how far they can jump in one jump, 25 feet. Oh, five feet. Wow. Good job. Okay, B. Can you do all 25 feet at a time? No. Let's see you go for it. Can I get a running start? Yeah. No. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> this used to be the main thoroughfare through the zoo and they've redone it all with construction. They're constantly adapting the zoo and enlarging it. Where are we going? Stingray Bay. Stingray Bay. You got your stingray up your nose? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Do you see that big old shark? Can you stick your hand in there, Bailey? Oh, here's one. Here's one right here. Isn't that cool? Stick your handies in there. Did you touch him? Stick your hands in there, Bailey. Yeah, they're not they can't bite you. No, they took their stingers off. 
Look, Papa. Look how big that one is. Try and touch. Try and touch him. What, love? Look at, can you see that big shark right there? Look at that. Whoa, look how big. Oh, here comes one, here comes one, here comes one. Does <laughs> that scare you? Stick your hand in there. Oh no, they can't hurt you at all, love. No, none of these animals will hurt you, otherwise they wouldn't let him in here. Oh, he's coming. He thinks you got a treat. Touch him. Oh, look at that one. Wow. Look how big that one is. Reach down there, Bailey. Hey. B. You did. Okay. Oh. Oh. You gotta wait until they. There's a shark. Touch him. Touch him. Touch him. Stick your arm in. It's like a once in a lifetime opportunity to touch a shark. Oh. You ever want to waste six bucks to take my kids to the, to the Stingray Bay petting zoo? Look at how big that one is, Campbell. You don't know why you're scared? You don't need to be scared, lovey. Just stick your hand down there. They're not gonna hurt you. They're like little they're like little birdies in the water. Huh? No, 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 no. They will not. Yeah, you going to try it? Did you touch him? How does he feel? Here comes one. This is too scary. <laughs> too scary, huh? I want to see that shark again. Yeah, and I want to pet the shark because I don't want to pet the sting poison. They've been doing a lot of construction at the zoo, and this is the new part that they've added on to it. This huge, gorgeous restaurant and it overlooks all of the new uh, animal exhibits they built out here. So this is the restaurant, and that's the view. We had to take a little bit of a break, not I needed a rest. And we were getting hungry. So I decided to get some early lunch, and then we're gonna go feed the giraffe. What'd you get? I got a cheese pizza. Billy? A hamburger. Hamburger? Campbell? Chicken, Chicken tenders. And I got a cheeseburger too, and then mom got bread. So cold. Time to do some warming up. Pretty cool view, huh? Oh, look, there's a... Monsters or whatever. Oh, he is massive. This is the restaurant where we just ate, and then they have this huge open area for all the large animals. And then here is the Twiga Terrace where we get to feed the giraffes. There's a giraffe over there. We'll get to feed them if we're lucky. We'll see. Last time they weren't. 
they weren't interested in eating. Oh, there's a couple of them right there. And here's five. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Peter up here. Oh, oh, uh -oh. oh you can pick it up. It's okay. Look at their tongue going out. Grab it. Oh. Oh. That's so cool. Did you everybody? Oh, did, did you already feed him? <laughs> okay. Hey, Melody. Would you guys oh, like thank you. Yeah. yeah, we'll just Another wait for one? him to finish up so that way you guys can get your Melody, come back. Oh, like, no. <laughs> so when you feed him, you're going to hold this in very well. <laughs> hey, what was your favorite part? My favorite part was getting to feed the giraffe. <laughs> your favorite part of feeding the giraffe was getting to feed the giraffe? Yeah. What about you? <laughs> well, that's an experience you don't get every day. Do you have fun doing that, Dill? I want to do it again. Yeah. Look, there's giraffe footprints that go up there. Let's see. <laughs> Ethan's almost five feet. Dilly, how tall are you? Like You're right at four feet. Look at that. Look at that. Right at that four foot mark. Hop in there, Campbell. Let's see how tall you are. You're a little bit above the floor. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you at, Bailey? Me? Oh, you're right up to the tree branch, right there. Awesome. Yeah, he's right Let's there. Let's see how tall I am. Let's see how tall you are. Let's Not. see how tall mom is. Five foot two, you're not even Nope. 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 You're up to the draft's mouth. Nope. What are you doing? You're following the giraff, giraffe prints. What's up there? It's a lion. You're kidding. It's the lion. You're kidding. You're not a lion? I'm a lion. That is one big, massive animal. Look at that cat. Hey, Dill. You want to climb the fence and go feed him lunch? <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> wow. Ooh, maybe what do you think, Dill? Daddy, Daddy yeah? can you attach me, Elsa? You want me to throw you over the fence? Yeah. So you can feed him lunch? Nana yeah. said that's the baby. The baby. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Really great part of the zoo because the sound of the train over here blocks out the sound of the highway over here. <laughs> I love big cities. Hey, do you see him? Mm -hmm. Right there. Do you know what his name is? What? Huh? What? I don't remember. There's actually, hey, there's actually two elephants and they're both little girls, but I do not I remember. See yeah, the other one, oh, there's the other one right there. And then this one, and they're, they're not sisters, but they're both little girls and I don't remember their names. It's been a year since the last time I came to the zoo. Are they wild? Well, all these animals are wild, but they grow up in the zoo. They live in the zoo. There's a better view of her. And then there's this huge, look how cool that is. Actually walk in here, it's an observation deck. So I talked to one of the zoo workers and it turns out that actually this one is a female, but the other one that was over here is a male, and they're not the same ones that they had last year. Uh, apparently one of them, it was like Shanzi or something like that, 
one of them passed away and so for companionship they moved the other elephant to a new facility and then they brought in these two so yeah so this is an elephant tracking device and this is the, the yeah, what they use to attach it to around its neck how'd you guys like to have that around your neck you'd have to you'd kind of you kind of slant like this huh all right that would probably kind of shock you. They put right these, up. see they put these would be in those holes over there. I'm like, the I'm like, you're really gonna like squeeze into the elephant's neck like. <laughs> That's so they can track them and make sure they're safe and they're healthy. <laughs> okay. So Campbell's not feeling super great. So we're gonna see the sea lions real quick and then we're gonna head out. Have we heard of blubber before? It helps these animals keep their body temperatures regulated, especially when they're in and out of that cold Pacific water here along the California coast. But you can also look closely at her face, and you'll see that she's got these really long whiskers around her snout. These whiskers are another trait that the pinnipeds share, and they are called vibrissae. They use them for sensory and for navigation. So we watched a little bit of the lion, sea lion show, and now when you come downstairs, underneath the show, here is the coup de gras. Did Daddy well, knock you over by accident? I'm sorry. Jaws attacked. <laughs> Poor Dylan went down, huh? Yes, right there. Oh, I'm sorry, love. That's cool. Oh my goodness, have you been holding your breath that long? Okay, do you want to have a hold your breath contest? Okay. Start at zero. Okay, when you're ready, go. Oh, are they not? Maybe they don't have an outfit. Wow, look at you go. 20 seconds and you're still holding your breath? Thirty-four point six six. That's awesome. Give me. Oh. I had a lot of fun seeing the sea lions, and my favorite part about them is that when you get to go underwater, well, not underwater, but like if you go down there, there's a huge glass plate, and then there's a whole bunch of water, and the sea lions can go down there and they swim around, and you can see them. Cool. Did you get to hold your breath too? Yes. How long did you hold your breath for? Twenty-four seconds. 24? The first time, and then the second time I did 16. Ooh, good job. Thanks. Yeah, they can hold their breath for up to 10 minutes. Really? Could you imagine doing that? That's amazing. It is amazing. Well, here's the end of the road for our zoo trip. Did you have fun? Yep. Good. I think our Campbell is a little bit on the tired side. She's been sick for the last couple of days, and she kind of braved it coming out here today. And she did a good job. We had a lot of fun at the zoo today. We hope you did too. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell.